What's going on, everybody? It's me, Shane, and I'm here with a channel update. Been meaning to do this for a while. Uh, I like to have these every once in a while to either wrap up the year or to talk about upcoming plans. So just to tell you what's going on, because I know at the very least, there's 168 subscribers that I have right now, and maybe like a fourth of you watch every single thing, and maybe some of you only watch for a certain thing. I at least know there's a consistent amount of you guys that at least watch these things. And I just want to let you know what's going on. So, as always, if... You know what? Not even if you are new here. Even if you're old here. I just need you to leave me a comment. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified of other videos that are coming out. And let's just go ahead and I can tell you about what's going on. So, I plan on doing at least, I'm counting four different animes here that are coming out in April and it's, it's pretty sad because before I had the dates for them I knew I was going to do these do these shows um and it just so happens they all come out in the same week so let's talk about the anime Comey Can't Communicate season two that's on Netflix we have Shield Hero season two we have Spy Family I I don't know why I haven't read the manga yet, but the premise is really good, so I definitely want to give that one a watch. Um, there's the final episodes for Shaman King 2021. That probably will not be coming out on Netflix until May, but I'm catching up just so I can give you guys my thoughts on the current stuff that's already out there, especially since I love Shaman King and I've been meaning to get to it for such a long, long time. And as well as Tiger and Bunny Season 2. Part two, whatever two you want to give it, I am definitely coming out with a video about the first season of Tiger Bunny, my thoughts on it next week, because hey, I've already, I saw it when it first came out, love that show, um, I remember watching the subs for it, I believe that was, was that 2010, I think it was 2010, fun show that interlaced uh, actual ads, like the companies in that show, it's in a Japanese one. I don't know what, what went on with the dub, but there there were actual ads featuring the characters, and those companies actually paid for the advertisement in the anime. Really, really good take on heroes, especially since this came out before My Hero Academia. Now, animes that I want to do. There is a very charming looking show. Um, I think it's called Kot uh, Kotaro Lives Alone. It's on Netflix. I'm probably going to watch that whole, as much as that I can. And then give you the review. I don't know if it's like a one and done thing. Or if it's something they they just threw out there with all the episodes. But I definitely want to give that a watch. Um, Ranking of the Kings. That's another charming looking one. It kind of reminds me of this video game called... Um, uh, I cannot remember. It's a Studio, Studio Ghibli video game. I cannot remember the name of it. To save my life right now. And I'm just doing this all off the top of my head. So if it comes to me. I promise I'm going to shout it out. In the video. Nino Kuni. That's the name. It looks looks a little bit like Nino Kuni. There are characters in it. That I've seen so much fan art of. Especially the queen. A lot of people enjoy the queen. I, I need to see what's going on with that show. Uh, Love is War. Season 3. The final season. I've, I've been meaning to watch this thing too. Oh my goodness. I'm, I, it's kind of sad that that's already coming up already. But you know what? If I can catch up, if I can catch up with that quickly, I possibly do the same thing I did with Mushiko Tensei where I threw out how I felt about that first season immediately before, immediately before just going on and talking about the, uh, the newer episodes. I will definitely do that. Um, uh, my Hero Academia. I t actually only need to watch seasons four and five. If you recognize that one, that's the overhaul episode that I've not seen yet. Because I believe in fall 2022 is when they're coming up with season six. Um, they have a couple of movies too. I think I might do those. I don't know if you guys are interested in hearing my takes on those movies. Actually, one of the first videos on this channel is me doing Heroes Rising. I went to the theater and saw that in dubbed form. It's pretty, still pretty good, decent movie. Um, I also going to do The Return of Bleach. That is in the fall of 2022 as well. I've, I just need to catch up with reading it, honestly. 
And I also wanted, I wanted to do JoJo. I wanted to do Stone Ocean so badly when it came out. And I'm going to go ahead and just talk to you about my issue. And yes, I do have a set script here of things I want to talk to you about. Talking about one of the issues with Netflix animes is that they can't put the stuff on the platform until it's shown in in Japan, in TV Tokyo. I think that's the ones who they have their uh, their deals with. And a lot of times it's it's awkward numbers, right? It's not like an episode a week. Actually, Comey Can't Communicate did do episodes once a week, so I'm pretty confident in that one. But for like Stone Ocean and Shaman King, one time I, I looked on Shaman King, I'm like, oh, cool, just six episodes? I'll, you know what? I gotta, I'll clear this other stuff up and I'll get to it. I came back and it's like 15 episodes. I'm like, that's an odd number to boost these things by. Then I come back and it's 18 episodes. So I don't know how they're going to do that. But one of the things I will do starting now, especially with my Shaman King reviews, I'm just going to have a, I'm going to try to have a formula when talking about these things. I would like to talk about the specific plot of each episode and then run down a major moment in each episode while talking about the main reason why we watch the show, the characters. I'm going to just talk about some of their highlights and things like that, just so I don't keep getting running into videos that go into that 40-minute range. Although, the, I, if I'm going to be honest with you, I prefer to be thorough. Uh, <clears throat> I know a lot of people don't like longer videos, but I really like to be thorough. I want you guys to know everything that's on my mind. I would love to give you as much information as I can, just so when you want to go back and rewatch an episode, or you're watching a newer episode, you're going, oh, hey, that lies in conjunction with what Shane was saying before. So, that's one of the one of the things I'm, I want to do there. Uh, especially, that was the big issue with Stone Ocean, because, man, I, it was it felt like they were pumping out like six episodes at a time. I had no clue what was going on with that. But anime is not the only, even though it feels like anime is the biggest thing that people like to watch on my channel, I will also do comic things. And I'm trying to branch a bit into doing kind of normal movies or normal shows that have been recommended to me. But on the comic side, definitely doing Doctor Strange 2. I'm definitely doing Moon Knight that comes out next week. And whatever DC comes up with, I believe they were supposed to have, uh, what was the show called? It was supposed to be uh, Black Adam. It was supposed to be soon, but they moved that back to the summer, so I got some time for that one. Um, some things I want to catch up with, I want to catch up with Boba Fett, because I'm definitely watching Obi-Wan in May. I just kind of fell by the wayside with Star Wars, and it's not because the shows are bad, because Mandalorian is probably the best thing they've had since Rogue One. Um, it's just the fandom. The fandom really makes me just want to slow. You ever just, you ever just see fandoms of just people talk about a thing and not, you know, not because it's popular, you don't want to watch it or want to, you know, talk about it. It's because just the way they approach it. Just, eh, maybe one day I'll talk, I'll do a video on the three different eras of Star Wars. Actually, technically there's, yeah, there's three different eras, but there's a little sub era right before you get to the prequels that's very it's a very interesting time um interesting thing on the anime front don't know if you guys know this toei got hacked someone had hacked into i think it was one of their studios computers so all their animes and movies those things have been on hiatus indefinitely that's why you haven't gotten digimon the last two weeks from me if you were trying to watch One Piece, that's probably why you haven't seen One Piece. And that is exactly why the Dragon Ball Super Hero movie has also been postponed. I think they're probably trying to find if the person got any uh, particular leaks. And I'm pretty sure all of this hiatus has probably pushed back whenever we're going to get the next season of Dragon Ball Super. So, and... Oh, one thing I, I, you know what, I don't want to forget. I want, so I've been trying to find things that are just mainstays, because I'm, Digimon is one of the first things I did, so I'm just continuing with that. Um, fortunately, or unfortunately, Yashihime, Princess Abdemon, that should be wrapping up this Saturday. Uh, there's been no word on season three. 
I honestly don't know how they could do a season three. I'm personally hoping that once the manga is at least 50 to 60 percent done, they start doing that. Do it in the style of uh, not just Shaman King 2021, but uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, where they come out with things like that. They, you know, they've rebooted it because they wanted to follow the manga closely. And I think with how better structured and better written the Yashihime manga is, I can surely see that coming back. Which is great. Um, it's great because that's Sunrise. Sunrise has no issues, and Sunrise are the ones that are coming out with Tiger and Bunny. Yay. What else here? Now, I personally, the projects that I really adore, and I do love doing my um, anime reviews. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, uh, I was talking about things that's showing up consistently. I will, in the very, very, very near future, be reviewing the Pokemon anime. Because Pokemon anime is just, it's one of those things that's never going to stop. Like, I feel that even though One Piece has easily over a thousand episodes uh, now, thousands of manga chapters, it's going to end sooner or later. And Pokemon is not. I knock on wood for my own sake, but I don't ever see it ending because I don't see the Pokemon franchise ending anytime soon. Especially with the way they do regional variants. I love Pokemon. Pokemon is my Madden. It is my Assassin's Creed. I will always play a Pokemon game. Um, So, going back to what I said before about the type of videos I want to do. I actually do miss some of my more think pieces. Granted, a lot of you guys don't particularly watch those so much. And that's okay. That's alright. Personally, I, I like doing it. There's been uh, several videos I've been wanting to do. And, of course, two of them has been on, uh, <laughs> have been on Dragon Ball characters. Um, there's another, another t there was another one I had about feuds within fandoms. Because there's a lot of, ever since recent manga chapters of One Piece, there's been a lot of feuding going on between those fans and Naruto fans. And it's... We live in a day and age where you have there's there's extreme tribalism. Do you like One Piece or do you like Naruto? You can't like them both apparently. You can't like WWE and AEW. You can't like I don't know. You can't come up with this third thing. I guess Burger King and McDonald's. Like just threw a fast food thing out there. But I like top. I miss my top ten videos. And you know I will find a way to better structure those top ten videos just to make them not longer. I. In the past, I split them up. And the split up is very nice because it gives you something else to watch. I, you know, I I, I feel for people who say I kind of zone out after 15 minutes. I kind of zone out. And I, you know what? I get it. I, I totally get it. Sometimes you just want to watch something for the moment and then move on to the next thing. Not all of my videos are going to be like that. I'm I'm. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Especially the uh, Marvel videos and the anime reviews. There, those are never gonna be super short unless they start giving us ten-minute shows. I don't know if that's possible to tell a whole story in ten minutes. Fifteen minutes seems to be the norm, especially with cartoons now, with their thirty-minute time slots being fifteen and fifteen. That is entirely possible, but who knows? Um, top 10 videos, think pieces, and I want to do more retrospectives. So, what do I mean by retrospectives? Let's, let me turn the channel here for you guys. And for those of you who probably have a hard time seeing, things like Fire Force. I've been wanting to review Fire Force. Fire Force has, the manga is done. So the anime is going to be done pretty soon. Assassination Classroom, Food Wars, which I'm... I have no idea what the Food Wars anime is at the moment. And, of course, Overlord, which I think Season 4 is coming out soon. I have to I have to relent because there's no way I'm going to be able to get to Overlord Season 4. Because I still need to... I got to finish the tail end of Season 2 and continue. But, yeah. Um, tell you about some of the technical things. You will be... You might see some changes in the background here. I'm... I have tons of plans. I'm not going to spoil those plans for you. But I have I have plans. I have things in motion. So trust me. 
I just want this to, I like entertaining you people. I like talking to you people. I like you guys to have a good time. So I'm going to do everything I can to make this as enjoyable as possible. Um, short-term goals at the moment, short-term goals is I really want to get to 200 subscribers. Uh, it's, it's a crazy thing when you're a content creator and you're watching either, well, I know for some of my artist friends, they watch their likes or the shares and the interactions, which is comments. We love creators, artists. We love for you guys to talk to us. Streamers, they love. We all love to engage our audience because we're doing this because we want people to have a good time. We're showing our passion and we want you guys to be a part of that passion because we know you're passionate about it as well. So as a mostly a YouTuber, I'm looking at that subscriber count. So on the short term, doing that, but on the long term, of course, of course, we're trying to get to a thousand. Of course, we're trying to get to four thousand hours watched. Uh, we hit a milestone, guys. We got a thousand hours watched already. So, yeah, we did, we're 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 getting there. But you know, even then, if I'm gonna be completely honest with myself, even once I get through those milestones, I'm still gonna be trucking along. I don't ever plan on falling on my laurels. And as a matter of fact, sometimes, because we're all adults here, we all should be adults here. It's just life, especially when you're trying to do things that you like. You have other responsibilities, but I consider this one of the big joys I have in my life. One of the things that I feel kind of, I kind of feel a duty to you guys, right? I want people to have this information that I have, no matter how trivial, but this is all art. That is art. Just like the pen and paper or pencil and paper or the easel, all of that is art. Mangas are art. We are in our mind, we are in the modern day. We're not talking about paintings or sonnets or uh, Baroque works, one piece reference, but we're talking about things that are art. And that's, that's, that's what it is. Um, one thing I do, so here's, here's another thing that I need to talk to you guys about. I, I would love to be able to show still images. Like I can, I would love to just show JPEGs all day, all night, forever and ever. Cause there's no way in heck I'm doing clips. And the reason why, and I've probably, I've hinted at it and touched on it a little bit. In my other videos, other anime channels. Uh, I mentioned I mentioned the Pokemon anime uh, YouTuber. His channel has is going to be taken down soon because he has a lawsuit going on in Japan. If I can find the link to his video, I'll put it in the description here. Hopefully, the channel's still up enough for you to be able to watch this video. But there's new laws now. Especially in Japan, when it comes to it, Japan, has a law that if something can be viewed there, and it's their intellectual property, Swisha, Bird Studio, any of these people, uh, who the I forget who runs the Pokemon anime, but any of them have right to sue you because you are using their product without their permission, and a lot of times you try to make money off of it, or you are making money off of it. That is within their legal means. And the law is, if they file this in a Japanese court, you're going to get documents, you're going to get letters and everything from the Japanese courts, and you will get your videos that they have picked, and they those will be striked. The strike system on YouTube is, at one point in time, it was two strikes and you're out. Now I think it's three strikes, and they're working on ways for people to appeal a lot better. But it it's... For smaller folks like myself, and what I mean, like, I'm super small. Like, I am, I'm not even at the, uh, not even at the thousand subscriber mark. You know, a person like me gets their channel taken down. I'm, I'm gone. Like, I'm into dust. person who has 1,500, 5,000, even 10,000 subscribers, they get taken out. They still don't have a large following, and they get broken apart. So, they're in two pieces. I get smashed into dust. I will not risk my channel just because a few people would like to see clips. God willing, I get to 50K or even 100K. 
I'll consider it because then maybe I'll have relationships with some of these some of these companies and they agree to give me a clip or two to play. Sure, but not while you're just some random guppy in the sea that is social media and entertainment. No, just no. And that's that's uh, that's this is a particular warning to all of you who plan on doing things like that. The flip side is. You're probably wondering, well, how come some of these other people who we watch, how come they're able to put these clips and things in their YouTube? Well, not just because they're bigger and not just because they have a connection with some of these companies. We're using their IPs with showing the Marvel movie clips or the Star Wars stuff or the DC show XYZ. Because when or video games, as a matter of fact, those things, it's a lot easier to finagle. Or get around those things because when it comes to U.S. properties, especially with video games, it's it's a little bit easier to deal with the strike system and deal with the companies and say, hey, I'm showing, this is, I played this. This is me showing the gameplay that I played and this is this is the thing I, play, I paid for. I am just showing it and I'm talking over it. I am not claiming that I made this thing. Right? That's a whole lot easier to go around. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but not sorry. I will never show clips. But when I have the ability to throw up an image, like I, tr like I would truly love to do with the Digimon shows, as opposed to showing you the screenshot on here, I'm definitely going to try to move towards that. Because I want you to see what I'm talking about at times, but hey... It's it's rough, guys. It's really rough. That's why a lot. That's why there's also a push to have more um, generic music. And it's funny because I believe in 2017, 2018, there was some company that tried to claim that they had the rights to some of that generic music that some YouTubers were using, especially in their video games. And that's why. God bless YouTube. They they try to put some generic things up. I don't particularly like how it interfaces with the videos. I have tried it before and I do not like it. So yeah. I, I, I will figure out a workaround. But that's enough for me. Legitimately, I want you guys to leave me a comment. Tell me what you would like to see. Tell me what is some of the, what are some of your favorite things that I talk about on this show? Is there is there an anime in particular or a show in particular or a movie in particular that I've not mentioned that I'm going to watch that I plan on doing that you would like to hear my thoughts on? Because I can guarantee you that once I get time, I'll sit down and I'll watch that show and I will promise you I will review it to the fullest and the best of my abilities. That's why. I always, I like hearing all kinds of comments from you guys, whether it's constructive criticism, whether it's your thoughts on the show, whether it's how you feel, what you think could be done better, please, all are welcome to leave comments. Especially, no comment can be worse than the first ever comment I got on my uh, top 10 Marvel movie uh, video. I won't repeat it because there was some profanity in it, but it's okay. We move forward past those things. So, as always, guys, thank you for taking some time out to listen to me. Just tell you what's going on. I, I really do appreciate every last one of you who take time out to listen to me. I appreciate everyone who subscribes, everyone who shares the video, everyone who goes ahead and hits that like button. All those things significantly help and they significantly matter. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Please. Be good, be blessed, wash your hands, wear a mask, be safe out there, please. Just be good to yourself, be good to others. Either way it goes, do not be a jerk. And I will most definitely see you guys next time.